Hello friends, welcome back to my guardian raid guide. Other past guardians were too easy to create a guide, but the newest one coming soon, Car Early Ghost, may be quite challenging for some people. Even users in Korea today tend to dodge this guardian due to it being tedious and require a lot of battle items and party coordination. Let's get to the guide right away. Car Early Ghost runs away total two times, and each new position he is in, he'll be in a new phase. Therefore, he'll have total three phases. Car Early Ghost has only two major mechanics, Everything else is series of normal patterns. If you understand the major mechanic and get used to few normal patterns, the Guardian will feel a lot easier for you. Battle items you need to prepare are Destruction, Pheromone, and Rowan, and Flare. Since the map is a large winter map, which is the same as the Turtle Guardian, you'll need to Flare to find the initial position of the Guardian. Let's go over the mechanics right away. First mechanic is called Stagger Counter Destruction, let's call it SCD. When this specific mechanic starts at Phase 2 and 3, Karaligos will raise his right claws to charge up his energy. Stagger check happens at this time. The stagger bar isn't as big, but throwing whirlwind bomb may be a safe bet. If you succeed the stagger check, he will lift up his claws again for a counter check. You will need to succeed this counter in order for it to get to the next destruction phase. When counter is successfully landed, you'll see a target mark on his head. Each player needs about 3 destruction points to succeed the destruction check. You'll need to throw your destruction bomb or skills. However, you need to be extra careful on using large AoE skills because there will be blue orbs spawning around the Guardian. If you happen to destroy these blue orbs, you'll receive a lightning defense shield. And if you happen to receive this blue lightning defense shield, you'll be able to take less damage overall, but you won't be able to receive the white lightning aura buff afterwards. To explain the white lightning aura buff, if you succeed the destruction check, the Guardian will spawn 5 white lightning orbs at X position. People tend to move times 3 plus 1 position based on party number, and destroy the white lightning orbs. Orbs HPs are very low, even supports can destroy them, and when they're destroyed, everyone near the orb will receive a buff stack of 1. Each of these buff stacks provide 10% attack power and 10% cooldown for 30 seconds, while minor damage over time is applied to you. If these white lightning orbs tend to reach Karelagos, all the buffs attained beforehand will be taken away and the Guardian will channel a very strong AoE skill around him. Range is pretty small, so it is advisable to run away from the explosion. If you fail any of the SCD, he will slam the ground dealing huge AoE damage. This has about a minute 30 second cooldown until he tries this mechanic again. The damage over time debuff can be neutralized by the blue lightning defense shield, but stacks under 5 does minuscule damage, so you do not have to worry about it too much. Assuming all party members are using battle items, you need to watch out on two specific situations. The first situation is destroying the blue lightning orbs by accident to provide blue lightning shield. If this happens, you won't be able to receive any of the white lightning orb buffs, which could conclude into 50% attack power and 50% cooldown buff. Second situation is the guardian using the pattern close to the wall, where the orbs unfortunately spawn very close to him. For the first situation, since the destruction phase gives you enough time, it is crucial to make sure where the blue lightning orbs are around and to not touch them. If they happen to spawn near the Guardian, it is recommended to reposition yourself before throwing your destruction bombs. For the second situation, the orbs will always spawn on X position based on the Guardian, so you can assume where the white orbs are going to spawn. Also, since these white orbs are easy to destroy, if you happen to be in a positional disadvantage, you can use your range skills to destroy all the orbs from far away really quickly and receive your buff from a different position with your party mates, because the explosion itself will give you the buffs. To summarize, when this particular SCD pattern starts, the Guardian will raise his hands for a stagger check, raise again for a counter check, and then destruction check afterwards. If all succeeded, Guardian will spawn 5 white lightning orbs on X position, and each of them will provide 10% attack power and 10% cooldown buffs when hit by their AoE explosion. The buffs are nice, but you can still beat the Guardian without it as well. The second major mechanic is the volatile lightning orb. The Guardian will spawn a large lightning orb around the map. You can identify the position by looking at the minimap too. You'll receive about 15 seconds until the explosion. You will consistently receive attack power debuffs and damage over time. If you fail to destroy the orb, the party will wipe from the explosion damage. Since this orb will give attack power debuff, it is crucial to delete this orb as fast as you can. This orb has decent amount of HP too, so it requires one or two major DPS skills from one party member. And so, these were the two major mechanics that the Guardian has. Now let's go over some normal patterns. Counters. The Guardian will jiggle a little bit and dash frontwards. You can counter him while he's jiggling or before the Guardian finishes dash jump. Tail Whip. Guardian will swing his tail twice, 
You can be right close to his back or his head position, or you can position yourself after the first initial tail attack. He doesn't attack the same place twice. This attack's range increases to 120 degree at phase three. Air Raid. Guardian will fly upwards to the sky, then he'll land on a random player. While he's up in the sky, there will be a series of lightnings around the area too. Since these hurts and stunts, it is advisable to stay very far away or stand in the center. Reflect. This is actually important. Guardian Carlicos doesn't have a main stagger meter, but if the Guardian reaches a certain stagger level beyond phase 2, he will start using Reflect Pattern. Carlicos will shield himself with his wings. It is safe to stay inside close to him because outside of this shield bubble will have various lightning around that will deal massive damage to you. You must not deal heavy stagger damage in this situation. If you happen to attack the Guardian at this phase with high stagger skills, he will start doing the Reflect Attack and do a full 360. Jump Attack Guardian will jump and attack with his front claws to an aggro player. If the initial attack is hit, he will follow up with a combo attack after phase 2. Additionally, he will use his normal attack very often if party member is lying down on the floor after getting hit. With that being said, this concludes the quick Guardian Guy Carligos. This Guardian will be hard at first, but as long as everyone focuses on the major mechanics like SCD, you'll receive big buffs and speed up the overall fight time. This will be a very fun Guardian for you if you understand the mechanics, utilize battle items consistently, and communicate with your party mates. As always, thank you guys, and good luck everyone. Bye!